Hi all, how you doing? I hope you're doing great wherever you are in the world. So back in December, I did a video where I deleted the grass extension. So this grass project, uh, the idea was it was going to use um, bandwidth, um, that you, excess bandwidth, okay, basically. So a lot of people were probably using only 15% of the bandwidth or, or something like that. Or let's say for argument's sake, you leave your computer on, you go and make a cup of tea or something like that, then... Uh, while this grass extension is is on, it supposedly can use your bandwidth and you build up some grass points, which will affect will eventually be worth some money. Okay, so it was like free money, effectively. Okay, but the thing is about this grass extension, it's a it's a Chrome extension, so you have to download it, and Chrome extensions are the the, the you know you're ac you're let you're letting the computer. Sorry, you're letting the Chrome extension access your computer and, and you don't know what it could be doing. So they could write some code that can do malicious things. You don't know what they're going to do. OK, so that's why. But I did leave the um, my affiliate link in there just in case some of you guys out there maybe have a computer which is off your network or whatever and not connected to anything else. You could still use it and potentially benefit if this turns out to be a decent project. But for me, there's too many red flags with this project. So let me just point out some of the red flags. So um, so in Discord, I went and asked several times. Um, actually, and someone else, let me just go to this comments. comments. So this guy at the bottom says, um, I saw this project and thought about it and did a bit of research and came to the same conclusions. Nobody knows who the team actually is. And if you ask them on Discord, nobody answers. Oops, what am I doing here? There is not a single full name or LinkedIn known, not an address, an office, nothing. All they say, your bandwidth gets sold to vetted companies, but nobody seems to know who these transparent vetted companies are. 400K downloads on Chrome Store with massive fake review re ratings, a reward system that is just points on your screen, no payout uh, info, nothing. Okay, so basically, you know... Um, Massive risk. This is the thing, the team. Who the hell is a team? So I went on Discord, and so I tried to sort of connect with these guys, and they didn't bother connecting with me. They didn't. They haven't responded, as far as I know, in the... Um, in the... Burr, 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 where we go here. Uh, so if I go here in in the Discord group and go into, like, general and ask, you know, who are, who are, who are the team... You, you don't get a kind of answer. No, some, you don't get a proper answer anyway. Um, somebody mentioned that they've been seen on a video once or something like that. But that is just pathetic. That's just not good enough at all. Um, if you go to their website, okay, so here I've got some referrals and stuff like that and some pending referrals. I mean, I'm not really bothered, to be honest with you, about it. Uh, but I've, I've disconnected. If you have a look now... It says here connect. So it should come up like 85% using your bandwidth or 100% or, or whatever if you've got it connected. But I'm advising you guys not to connect, okay? I'd, I'd advise deleting the Chrome um, app for this grass uh, project, okay? Um, where was I going with this then? Um, oh, yeah. So if you have a look at the facts, okay, um, one of it says, what is Wind Network? Wind Network is a parent company that powers grass and meticulously vets buyers interested in purchasing bandwidth on the network. So if you go to the Wind Network website, so wind.network, and you have a look at their website, there is nowhere on this website that says, uh, all it says is here straight away, download grass, learn more. Okay, so you go down. The first of its kind, blah, 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 an end to censorship, take back control of your internet, download grass. All right, so where's the sort of button that says, oh, I'm a company that wants to buy bandwidth? You know, where is the, where's the page that is trying to sell you some bandwidth? All right, there's there's nothing here. You'd think that if, um, you'd think there'd be a page somewhere saying, do you want to buy bandwidth offers or something like that? 
So there isn't. So that to me is really suspicious. It's like they're just getting loads and loads of people downloading this app. And because it's like four, I don't know, probably half a million people who download this uh, Chrome extension now. So who who's going to buy all this bandwidth? Nobody. Who are, the, who are these companies? Nobody. All right. We don't know. It's just um, it's just really sketchy. OK, that's where I'm, I'm coming from. We don't know the team and there's no people actually buying this bandwidth as far as I can see. I mean, they I, I get the point where they wouldn't necessarily want to say who's buying the bandwidth. OK, because that could be a privacy issue. But where on the Web page here is there a, a link saying, do you want to buy bandwidth offers or something? You'd think there'd be something. But there's nothing. And. Uh, yeah, that was just another. Win network. Yeah. So on the win network, they just point to the get grass and the get grass. They don't actually point to their their homepage. So they're not interested in promoting win network. They're only in promote. The, the, the link is to get grass.io. So they don't even bother promoting their own web page. So again, like like I say, it just seems really sketchy. Um, they do have some quite sort of biggish names. So if you go on the grass thing, uh, oh, can't find it now. Or oh, maybe it's on the wind network. So a few people that have sort of supposedly invested money with bigish names, but um, and they did send a. a a tweet out from their accounts. I can't find it now. I think I did it in the other video, to be honest with you. Um, but also that Poly Polygon company, Polygon Capital, was it? Polygon Finance? Didn't seem to exist. It's supposed to be a company, Polygon Finance. Um, it doesn't seem to exist, in my opinion. Oh, the website was very fl flaky uh, as well. I can't, I'm not going to be able to find this. I should have had this set up. Hey, oh, the app Polychain, that was it, Polychain. So this Polychain company, Polychain Capital, if you visit this, that's their website, polychain.capital, that's it. Rubbish. <laughs> so that seems a bit weird. 32,000 followers, but they got a website that looks like that. I don't know. It, it's sketchy. They're just things. So what I, I'm asking is the team to come forward to put a link on their website. So this is their website. No, it's not. <laughs> Getgrass.io. So on their website, there should be a link to the team. Let's see some faces. Let's see some first names and second names. Of the of of the people who are who are in this uh, team, okay. Until that happens, then I would say stay clear of this project because it's too it. There's too many red flags for me, and this should be for you as well. So forget about the free grass tokens and stuff. You could potentially get hacked and stuff like that from a Chrome extension. That is the bottom line. So until you've got some people to account for what they're doing. More accountability, more transparency is needed for this project to be to have 100% belief in it, okay? Too many red flags for me, and clearly too many red flags for a few other people. Uh, I mean, a, a few other people sort of put me onto this, saying they'd been hacked and stuff by having Chrome extensions um, because they could just change the code in the Chrome extension, all right? So... <clears throat> It doesn't matter if the Chrome extension's got quite a good review of like 4.7 or something like that. I think it's got on it. Um, they're giving free tokens away, so it's always going to have a decent review. It'll go down very quickly if suddenly that Chrome extension becomes, hacks everyone's computer, all right? And the thing is, you, you won't be able to react to it in time, all right? That That's the problem. You could have, they could have put a key logger on it or all sorts of things. All right, so the team need to come forward and say who they are. Look, there's 500,000 active users around the world now for this uh, grass 
uh, application. So the team needs to be on this page. You know, we should be able to access the team, get grass.io. Let's have a, like a team folder, guys. Team. Yeah. Well, put in that, see if anything comes up. Nothing. All right. Let's have a link to the team. Let's get some photos. Let's get some information about the team. Until that happens, forget this project. It's way too risky. Way too risky. 